In general, lung function tests are undertaken to detect lung-related diseases or to reassure patients who may show symptoms and are concerned about them. These may be, for example, shortness of breath or wheezing. One aspect of lung function that can be tested is the strength of the breathing muscles. The way this is conducted is by measuring the maximum pressure that the muscles are able to generate. Inspiratory muscle strength can be measured by asking the patient to sniff in through their open nostril for as hard as they can in one big sniff with a nose bung attached to a pressure sensor inserted into the other nostril. The patient performs a series of short, sharp sniffs until a consistent value has been obtained. Three similar readings within 10% of each other must be recorded. Each individual sniff provides an indication of overall inspiratory muscle strength. An advantage of the nasal sniff procedure test is how simple it is both for the patient and the operator. Most patients can carry it out successfully without extensive practice which allows the results to be much more reproducible. Inaccurate results may however be obtained in patients with blocked nostrils or with very severe lung disease. There are two forms of mouth pressure testing. Measurement of the maximum static inspiratory pressure, PI max, and the maximum static expiratory pressure, PE max. Both are measured with a mouthpiece attached to a valve system. The valve system incorporates a small leak to ensure that respiratory rather than facial muscles are assessed. For PI max measurement, the patient performs a maximum inspiratory effort from a relaxed lung volume. For PE max, the patient exhales maximally after a full inspiration. Pressure should be maintained for at least 1.5 seconds in order that the average pressure over one second can be taken. Verbal encouragement is given during the maneuver to ensure a maximal effort. In cases where patients may have suffered a paralysis in muscles around their mouth, support in pinching their lips when using the mouthpiece may be needed to avoid leaking of air around the mouth. The maximum value of three manoeuvres that vary by less than 20% of each other are recorded. Testing should continue until the operator is certain that maximum efforts have been made in order to ensure that reliable results are reported. The disadvantages of all of these tests is that they rely on patient technique and motivation to obtain reliable results. They also do not allow you to distinguish between weaknesses of the different respiratory muscles. In cases where weakness is suspected based on these tests, more detailed testing may be performed using more invasive measurement methods and muscle stimulation techniques.